I'm Sabina Graves, io9 staff reporter, and here's a Moon Knight theory about Amit's cane artifact and how it can tie into other parts of the MCU. Now, Amit is the crocodile-headed goddess of divine retribution and a devourer of souls. Yeah, this is who Arthur Harrow and his disciples want to bring back to judge humanity swiftly. All right, this again. Now, when Harrow holds onto his staff, it emanates purple energy we've seen before. We see purple emanation in Spider-Man No Way Home when Peter interrupts Doctor Strange's spell. Wong warns them before they casted it by saying, That spell travels the dark borders between known and unknown reality. It's too dangerous. And that's what it looks like when Harrow unleashes the jackals from the other realm. What's curious is how this purple energy has been a common thread in this phase of MCU storytelling, and specifically their connection to mythical objects. For Agatha Harkness in WandaVision, it's tethered to the Darkhold. And when it gets revealed that it was Agatha all along, we find out she absorbs powers and the energy of others, like the coven she once belonged to. You begin to see some more similarities because later in Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings, Shang's father Wenwu is encouraged by a voice coming from the rings that mimics his wife to free her from a hell-like prison in Talo. Which later we find out is just the dweller in darkness that's tricked him into freeing it and its soul-devouring demons. These are all dark objects that act as a conduit for sinister beings to take the life forces or powers from the undeserving. Seems like the big bad may tie into the evils of what's behind the curtain in this phase of the MCU. And this could be how Moon Knight might end up having a bigger role after all. To read more about this show, check out gizmodo.com backslash io9.